Okay, here's an example of a problem that my students have difficulty with, and they came to me and they said, please, Mr. Hall, show us how to solve this problem. And I said, well, of course, little children, I'll show you how to solve this problem. So let's look at it. Here we have a situation where we have a pyramid. And this pyramid tells us all the faces are congruent equilateral triangles. And it tells us A, write a numeric expression to represent the surface area of the pyramid. B, what is the surface area of the pyramid? Okay, so what I'm going to do in this situation is I'm going to always start out making a net. That's just how I do this type of problem. I always make a net, um, whether it be finding the surface area of a pyramid or it's finding the surface area of a prism. Anytime I have to find a total surface area, I always want to make a net so I don't leave anything out. Now, one thing I do want to point out, this is not a really good copy of this, but here we have one face that goes like that. Here we have another face like that, and here we have a face with a dotted or broken line, and we have 1.2 inches pointing to it. That tells us the height of this particular triangle. Now, if we have an image like this, and it tells us all faces are congruent equilateral triangles, then I know that I need to come up with a triangle for a base. Now, it said that it's equilateral, so this is not drawn to scale whatsoever. And it does not look very good. I can do a better job than that, so I'm going to. That just looks ugly. Looks ugly. So let me try that again. Okay. That does look much better, but at least you see we have four equilateral triangles that we are dealing with. And the formula for finding the equilateral tri uh, a triangle surface area is area equals half the base times the height. Now, if I have four of these, I can just simply say uh, four times half times the base times the height. And if it tells us that the base is two inches, if it's two inches here, because they're all equilateral, then it's going to be two inches here, it'll be two inches here, so I can say then just two inches. Now, um, the height is 1.2 inches, and since they're all equilateral, the height of one is going to be the height of all of them. So, 1.2 inches. So now, I just have to go through and work it out step by step. Now, I'm going to use a calculator to do my computation, and I'm going to go ahead and just demonstrate this, just in case kids need a reminder on how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to turn my calculator on. I'm going to clear it, clear the memory, okay, and now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to first find out this and then multiply it by 4 because I, I, I'll tell you right now, for some reason, these uh, TI-15s, if you try to multiply 4 parentheses, half times 2 times 1 and 2 tenths parentheses, it's going to give you some, uh, an error. It's going to say error. So it's easier to just go ahead and find the product of these three factors and then multiply the product by 4, and that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to say 1, and then uh, number in for numerator, and put 2, oh, made it there, 2, times 2, times 1.2, and that gives me 1.2, and that's what I expected, because you have to realize anytime you multiply 2 and a half, you're going to get 1. And one's the multiplicative identity. Anytime you multiply a number by one or a form of one, you're going to get the number you start out with. And that's, I expected that. Now, I'm going to say times four, because we have four equilateral triangles, and it's going to give me 4.8. So 4.8, and that is inches squared. Now, I want to point something out. I had a kid in my homeroom this morning I referred to the area as, like, uh, it was a different problem, but I said square inches instead of inches square. 
and that kind of threw him off, but it's okay. It, it's still the same thing. Square inches or inches squared, you can say either way you want. Now, uh, do I have any questions of, of any of the kids in here right now? All right. Okay, so my numerical, well, if I didn't have this A equals, if I was to cover that up, I could say my numerical expression is 4 times half times 2 times uh, 1 and 2 tenths, and then the total area would be 4.8 inches squared. Okay, and I use what I know about finding the area of an equilateral triangle to find my answer. So I hope that this little demonstration helps y'all.